we now jump on board with Robert Schwartzman and you guys can see here it is we can basically throw a blanket over the three of us Schwartzman is trying to get the move done on Ticton because I think he realizes that if he's going to go down to P3 in this race if he doesn't get a move on and heading into the Charged 51 over here. I hope you're having a splendid day wherever you are in the world. We're back on F1 2020, back with our F2 2020 career mode, driving at Nobuharu Matsushita for MP Motorsport. Now, as you guys can see, the championship is basically over. But before you click off for the video, the racing is still absolutely sensational. So guys, we're gonna finish this season of F2 with our 15 rounds. We're gonna have as much fun as possible. And then after that, um, we're just gonna stick with career mode and my team as far as I'm concerned now. And then after that, yeah, we'll see what happens then. We'll see what happens then. But please support this series. It's been actually been doing really well, guys. So please make sure you still enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like down below on the video. It's only gonna take you a nifty two seconds. And without further ado, let's head straight to qualifying, yeah. We are here in the garage for the British GP F2 weekend. Guys, obviously you can't call F2 a Grand Prix, but we're here for the for the Silverstone F2 weekend, let's call it that. So just quickly double checking our setup. And um, you guys know on F1 2020, Silverstone is a bit of an OP circuit for the AI. So uh, let's just see if we can manage a top 10. That's basically what I'm aiming for. But it's time to head for our run in quali. Let's go for a lap here around one of the most one of the most prestigious circuits on the on the F1 slash F2 calendar. Into the first quarter, unlike an F1 car, it's not flat out in F2. You have to have a little bit of a lift, but just throw the car in there and hang on for dear life. Into the third corner, break all the way to, to second gear. You can use third gear there if you get the proper rotation, but on a pad, it's a bit hard. Into the fourth quarter, plant the power as early as possible on the way out. I short shift up into third gear to kill the, 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 um, the issue with boost with the F2 engines. Onto this first of the two straights. I think this is now called the Hamilton straight straight if I'm not mistaken. Not the point. Into this next corner you can see it's all the way down to P18-ish. You guys can see the AI are very strong around this circuit, especially in quali trim. We head through left field, take a wide line through the corner to get the power down as early as possible. We don't get a very good exit because I'm a little bit too eager on my short shift all the way up into fourth gear. We now run to sixth gear, down this next part, into the place where Max Stafford and Lewis Hamilton had massive contact this year, into cops, throw the F2 car just into cops. Once again, unlike an F1 cars in qualifying, it's not flat out in F2 two cars, you go down to fifth gear, head to Maggots and Beckett, probably one of my favorite sequence of corners on the uh, entire F1 calendar, beautiful run through here, just plant the power on the way out through this part, I open up DRS as we head down towards this next part of the track, DRS is open, we had 280, 290, 300 kilometers an hour in a Formula 2 car, that is blisteringly quick speed for this series of, of single seater racing through this right hander and into the final three, yeah, three quarters of the track, hard on the brake, Head to the to the left for, for the chicane, to the right, and plant the power as early as possible, heading through this next corner, through the final corner, and we are in P! So qualifying is complete, and we're all set for an exciting race tomorrow. Your top three are Schwartzman, Tictum, and Pedro Piquet. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the feature race tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. And hello to everyone joining us here in Silverstone this weekend as the drivers make their final preparations for today's race. The grid is forming up and we're getting ready for what promises to be a real spectacle. Five miles out from Toaster, this icon of British motorsport heritage comprises 18 corners over 3.6 miles of circuit. Silverstone has been through several changes over its lifetime, with the start line now leading into Abbey, a fast right-hander for Turn 1. 
but still there, of course, is the circuit's most famous and iconic sequence of corners, starting at Maggots, turn 10. Joining me today in the commentary box is former 2012 GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi. We all know the circuit so well, Davide. What's got your attention today? Always a pleasure, Alex. Everyone looks forward to Silverstone M, which is such an intriguing grid. I think the fans will be excited for the start of today's race. We know these young drivers are hungry to prove themselves. Hopefully, we'll be seeing some more history being made today. Let's look at the grid order for today's race while the cars make their final preparations. Robert Schwartzman lines up on pole position, and it's Daniel Tictum in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Piquet, Aitken, Mick Schumacher, and Armstrong, Lungard, Sato, Samaya, Nikita Mazepin, Joe, Sonoda, Sean Galea, and Markelov, Delatraz, Matsushita, Daruvala, and Kala Mylot, Dragovic, and Roy Nisani. Alesi and Luca Giotto rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. We are sitting pretty here on the F2 grid. Not a good qualifying. I said we're aiming for top 10, so we got 16th. Booyah. <laughs> not the point, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed. Ding that bell to never miss an epic future video here on Zebra Fox Races. We're going for the Contra strategy, guys. I'm um, hard to soft. Let's see what happens. We've got nothing to lose. Not really have to worry about the championship. So you know what to do. Jam with me on the warm-up lap. Yeah. Schwarzman and Dan Tictum on the front row. Heading into the first quarter, the second primer of Mick Schumacher has a fantastic start. It's side by side for Tictum and, and Schwartzman into the first quarter, but Tictum gets the better of Schwartzman. It's side by side for Jack Aitken, and I'm not sure who's in the trident there. I, I, I didn't really watch the grid preview, is that we? Not the point. So three and Jack Aitken in the camp is going right around the outside. I think that is Marina Sato, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, who, no, that's not Marina. That's Pedro PK. That is Pedro PK. So it's side by side for PK and Aitken. Sorry for the mistake. Not the point. Down this little straight. It's side by side once again. Who's going to get the better? It's actually not the, the, the Trident. It's the Charus and the Campos car. The orange Campos of Aitken is really hanging it around the outside. He's got the inside for Luffield. Beautiful racing here from PK and Aitken. But Aitken just gets the better of PK as we now head towards Cops. Beautiful that you've got the ART. I think of Marcus Armstrong right sniffing their, their gearbox all right there in P, behind them in P5. But Aitken is now on the podium. Let's jump back to our POV for our start on the hard compound of tires. So for the first eight to nine left guys, we are going to be slower, but all we need to do is to try and match pace with the rest of the grid because everybody started on the softs. So if we can match them, that's a good thing. But you got to see, we nearly ran into the back of our teammate as we absolutely got swamped on the start. We had nowhere to go, but luckily we get to the inside of our teammate. We have a little bit of a dive on here on Artem Markolov and um, that is the second call and that's not Yuki Sonoda. I'm not, I don't, I don't think that it's Sonoda. I think that might be, not Dragovic, uh, 
groove a But anyway, guys, we now jump on board with Louis Delatrez. He's going side by side with Sean Galeo through the squad of the hell. Hold each other up immensely. It's 3 1 heading into the left field section of the track. Here we go down the hamel the track. Who's the bravest on the brakes? It seems to be us, but we're going to go wide. We will open the door maybe for Delatrez, but he decides to slot in behind us. Beautiful, beautiful 3 1 from Mandela. I know what my thumbnail is going to be now. That is absolutely spicy. But here we go. Down this next section, we are ahead of Louis Delatrez. So, not the worst start. We didn't get a good launch off the line, but through those first few sequence of corners, we were not too bad. And why is my back itching? That is not comfortable. Not the point. Through cops, we are still ahead of Louis Delatrave now trying to catch up to this entire train, guys. And guys, with especially with F2, not so much with the F1 cars, but with F2 cars, Silverstone is a lot like Monza and uh, Belgium. Well, Monza and Spa, Belgium and Italy, where a DRS train can really be formed and it's very hard to overtake here. Um, so we need to be careful of that um, in, in the six section of the race. But uh, basically, after halfway through the race, we will have the grip advantage until the end of the race. So that is going to help us out a lot. But uh, coming towards the end of the first lap, Dan Tecton will end the first lap ahead of Robert Schwartzman in P2. Robert Schwartzman in P2. And Jack Aguil will come across the line in P3. That is your podium at this stage. But does Robert Schwartzman have anything for the hometown boy of Dan Tecton to maybe win this feature race? We'll have to wait and see. Through this next part, you guys can see we are tucked up right and right behind Yuki Sonoda as we start the second lap. Sonoda is right behind the Chinese driver, Guan Yu Zhou, but what a dive to the inside of Yuki Sonoda from ourselves. We're Japanese driver on the next, and guys, like I said the previous round, I think Sonoda is so tired of seeing this orange and black MP Motorsport car overtaking him. It's not even funny. But in any case, we go, go ahead of, of, of Sonoda. We have a little bit of a bad exit coming out of that, that first sector of the track, but luckily, we do have the defensive line. I like to hang it around the outside of this corner because then you'll have the inside for Luffield. But Sonoda backs out of it and we now set our sights on Guan Yu Zhou and Nikita Mazepin. Only two, ooh, nearly threw my phone to the roof. Only two positions, then we are within the points. So uh, this is going to be a tough race, guys. The AI are really strong here um, around Silverstone. And remember, guys, all my game modes, we are running 110 AI. Um, so we, we, we've got some work to do as a pad player. But we start lap five. We set the fastest third sector, but we do not have fastest lap yet. But in any case, through the first quarter, you got to see, I take it very aggressive, nearly exceeding track limits there. But we need to go for this move to, to get to Guan Yu Zhou. Because the longer I wait, the more time I lose to you know maybe fight for the podium of this of this race so we really need to get our we need to pull our finger out of our bottom and put the foot to the floor pedal to the metal you know so we head down the street you guys see it's just corner exit the soft tire runners still have the, the the grip advantage to me so it's really hard to match them on corner exit but it seems like corner entry and cor mid corner I do have a little bit of well I have enough grip to run with the AI so I need to use that to, to the, my best possible abilities and luckily now we've broken the one second barrier to Yuki Sonoda so we don't have that problem of somebody pressurizing us from behind now now we just need to focus on Joe we are within DRS and as long as we stick here until their tires fall I think we've still got enough time to get a proper top 10 finish, maybe even a top 5 if I'm lucky a podium. So we'll have to see, unless there's a safety car. If there's a safety car, I'm going for the win, because that will just open up my strategy beautifully, 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 whatever the, that word is supposed to be. We go up the inside of Guan Yu Zhou as we catch him napping through the first um, few corners. Zhou actually tries to come back at us, but we've got the inside. We give Zhou the squeeze, and there's nothing that the Chinese driver in the Uni Virtuosi machine can do about that. We now jump on to a, a later point in that lap, as it's just the very same lap, and you guys can see I don't have DRS off, off of Nikita Mazepin, but Joe has got DRS on me. He tries to go up to, to the inside. What is that corner name again? Because if I keep forgetting that, that corner name, I might just rage. Let's just quickly see here. But um, you guys see Joe try to move around the outside. Couldn't get it done. But now we set our sights on Nikita Mazepin. And you guys can see it through this first section. You guys can see I'm really strong in the first and third sector. A little bit slower than the AI in sector two. But the Mazepin, these soft tires are really starting to die off now. We go up the inside of Mazepin. It's almost a carbon copy of the move I made on Joe. Once again, we're going to give Mazepin the squeeze and we are officially in to the point. So that feels all nice and dandy. Now let me just quickly figure out what that corner name is because if I keep forgetting, I might just rage. Let's go on here. That corner name, I'm sure, I think it's, it's not Abby, it's Stowe. It's Stowe. 
Abby is the first corner. Oh my goodness, that corner's name is Stowe. I'm probably gonna forget it before the end of the video, not the point. In any case, Dan Tectum is into the pit lane, followed by Robert Schwartzman, the two race leaders, and even Jack Aiken and P3 is following suit. So, you guys can see these soft tires, when they die, they die quickly and horrendously. So, um, let's see what these guys, what these guys do. Obviously, they need to manage their tires till the end of the race because they are going onto the hard. Um, a two stop at Silverstone, very, very not necessary because it is the longest pit lane on the calendar. The Prima crew are not quick enough to jump. The Carlin crew, oh sorry, not the Carlin, the Dams crew of Tictum. So Schwartzman is still occupying a net P2. Toward the end of the next lap, I think this is the end of lap 12. Lap 12, car 12, that'll be very ironic. Pedro PK dives it into the pit lane. He's trying to go for the undercut, uh, overcut. Guys, remember F2 cars, well, the F2 series does not have tire blankets for the cars. So when you come out of the pit lane, the, car, the tires are a bit cold. So sometimes the overcuts can work at certain circuits where there is a lot of high speed corners like here at Silverstone. So I do commend PK for trying, but um, he got held up in the pit lane. So his chances have just been dimmed, unfortunately by the long pit lane and a lot of drivers pitting on this lap not the previous lap with the leaders but you guys can see Jack Aiken is in P3 and he is actually the guy battling PK for the podium so let's see if Jack is going to come out ahead of Pedro there is PK so even being held up in the pit lane the overcut seems to be the way to go here today so my strategy might really work out for me guys so if we got to remember now I'm going to be leading I'm the only car that started on the hard compound of tyres so we lead the way with about a 20 second gap to anybody close to us but the thing is now I've, I did reasonably save my tyres so this is the, part, the, the the section of the race where I needed to push like a madman and that is exactly what I'm going to try and do. So we are in the lead here comes Dan Tictum only rounding the final corner now heading towards Abbey so the first corner, see how it remembers the corner names I just, I'm a smart cookie, of the, I used the Tani Kuchler <laughs> but it's uh, Tictum P2, Schwartzman P3, PK P4, then Aitken will be in P5 if I'm not mistaken, I don't think ever anybody's um, swapped, well, went in between them, and I'm correct. Aitken is in P5. P6 is the first ART of Marcus Armstrong. I think it's followed by his teammate. Oh no, he's actually followed by Mick Schumacher behind him. And I think behind them, it's the second ART of Christian Lungard. It's not. It's Marina Sato. Well done, Sato. Well done. The Japanese drivers are really showing their, their strength of the season. P9 is Christian Lungard. And in P10, we've got the second campus car of Samaya. And guys, I know you guys always ask, why don't you pronounce Samaya's name? It's because I can't. It's too complicated. But guys, now we need to focus. We set a purple middle sector, and the gap to Tictum is 19.9 seconds. And this is where I realized I've actually got the pace to match them with their new tires. Obviously, Tictum, all, all the drivers going onto the hearts, they can't push too hard because these tires need to last until the end of the race. And Silverstone being Silverstone, you're, unlike in Spain where your right front was the, was the, no, it was the left front that was dying at, 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 at Spain. Yes, it was. So, same as Spain, your left front is under immense pressure. And because I saved my tires and I didn't need to conserve at this stage too much, I could push like a madman. And that is exactly what I did. You guys just saw I posted the fastest lap. The gap is now up to 20.0 seconds. So we are not only matching the, the, the other AI on their fresh tires, we are actually starting to slowly get a gap on them. But the thing is, guys, the chances of it going above 20 and a half is very slim because even though they're preserving their tires, it's still quicker because the tires are brand spanking new. So we really need to focus for this part of the race. And I love Love Field. If you take a wide line through Love and you can get the power down without the car spinning it up its rear wheels, it is a fantastic exit. And heading towards Cops, you really, you can, you can feel that now you're moving. So you guys can see it's still hanging around 20 to 20.1 seconds through Cops. You guys see I'm very aggressive through Cops. I, I basically, I, I'm playing with the track limits here. Um, but that is what you need to do if you are actually aiming for a podium or a top five and guys at this stage i realized if i have a good first stint level which i'm currently on i can maybe just maybe go for the race win it's going to be a tough a tall task but we can do this p16 to p1 i think that'll be a result that i can be very proud of the gap now is sitting at 2.2 seconds it's now up to 2.3 seconds as pedro pk actually at this stage has the fastest lap of the race but heading towards the end of lap 16 you can see we've all gone green first sector purple middle sector and guys, even though my left front is over 50%, I didn't feel a lack of grip. Push now. 
we're boxing this lap. And you guys heard it here first. Jeff said it's boxing this lap as we set the fastest lap of the race. For then on our end lap, oh no. Pedro Pica is out of the feature race, guys, and he was doing so well, sitting in P4 for Charoot. That is heartbreak for Pedro Pica, but not the point. On our, our the lap before our end lap, we said fastest lap, and on our end lap, we go green first sector, red middle sector, and as soon as I saw that red middle sector, I knew, all right, box. So Jeff has got the right idea, let's box. These tires are starting to fall away, and there's more than enough laps left to get the softs to the end with them still having pace. We're gonna struggle the last three to four laps, but that is still something that you can manage. It's not gonna be a drop off period if you guys know what I mean. If you guys know what I'm smoking, you Africans, you know what I just said. Yes, I, I speak English very deliciously nice. Beautiful pit stop from the MP Motorsport crew. I'm a little bit late on releasing my clutch, but that's my mistake. So let's see where we come out. And this is what's my reference, guys. Jack Aitken in P3, who doesn't have anything to touch Schwartzman and Tectum, who are now who now resume in P1 and P2. But there's Tectum. Oh, there's Tectum. There's Aitken. And there are we. We are ahead of the ART of Marcus Armstrong. So we have absolutely had a stroke of brilliance. We were in P10 when, when, the, when the pit stop started to commence. We were, we, we were we just overtook Nikita Mazepin and our overcut has gotten us all the way up into P4. And look at the gap already to Armstrong. It's eight seconds, guys. I mean, this is now lap 21. We boxed at the end of what was it? Lap 17. So this is three laps later. And guys, the car was quick. And I mean, very, very quick. So this is what I realized. Look at the gap from Aitken to Schwartzman. It's only four seconds. It's not that much. So we really have got a massive opportunity to win this race, but there's not many laps left. Lap 22 of 29. We've just started lap 22, and now we need to push. Let's go. It's going down towards the Hamilton straight. DRS is open. Aitken does not have any DRS. But guys, I have to mention, I am running with a bit higher down for setup than the AI because I really wanted the grip in the corners. So I do need DRS to overtake someone if they have a, a, a well enough exit. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a sniff at them. But you guys saw the beautiful move there on Aitken. And now we are towards the end of lap 22. And you guys see the gap has already come down to 3.2 seconds to Robert Schwartzman. And he's only half a second behind Tictum. Just over half a second behind Tictum. So that was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Gap to teammate behind is 27.3 seconds. Okay, so we're not caring about our teammate, but thank you for the info, Jeff. You guys can see, Schwartzman is constantly in DRS of Tictum, so trying to defend, but Tictum is not fast enough to, you know, keep me behind. We head towards the end of the middle of lap 25, and the gap is just over one second. We are nearly within DRS, and guys, after this lap 25, there will be four racing laps to go, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So we can really do this. Yes, my left front is maybe starting to ache a little bit, but I'm still quicker. Remember, these guys' tires are really going to be hurting even though they're preserving their tires they're not going to have this massive gap well this massive um uh, uh, uh this massive amount of, of better performance at the end of the race we start lap 26 and we're within one second look at this it's down to eight tenths seven tenths of a second as we really take all liberties with the track heading through those first two quarters i guys i really want this win this would be an absolutely fantastic race but now we are on the podium i'm already very much satisfied with that but um, I mean, they are right there. They are right there. And you guys heard the little tick? That is us now in a DRS of Robert Schwartzman. So it's going to be a battle for the win by the top three, well, with the top three for the final three and a half laps of this race. And as you guys can see here, stuff is looking very juicy. Sorry, guys, I just quickly had to, to take a, to let the phone call go. Well, hopefully that's not in the recording. In any case, somebody just quickly called me, um, but they can wait. I've got three laps to commentate. We now jump on board with Robert Schwartzman. And you guys can see here, it is, we can basically throw a blanket over the three of us. Schwartzman is trying to get the move done on Tickton because I think he realizes that if he's got to go down to P3 in this race, if he doesn't get a move on, and heading into this next part of the track, you guys can see, I'm going up the inside of Schwartz, but I'm not uh, leaving him any time to make a move on Tectum. Around the outside through the final two quarters. Can we get the move done? We stick it around the outside. We nearly exceed track limits again, but it's a drag race towards the first quarter. Soft tires versus hard tires. We pin Schwartz to the curb, and that is us up into P2 of this feature race. And Tectum is right there. We can do this. We can do this. I think this is the start of lap 28. So we're really just going to have to be very, very careful about how we manage the rest of this race. Calm down, let's do this. 
Keep your, your your cool, Turbo. Keep your cool. It's the number two damn score of Dan Ticton versus I think my car is the number 16. I'm not exactly sure. But Matsushita v Ticton. Ticton is leading his home feature race, and I'm not, I know Ticton wants this wants to win this. And the crowd is not going to love me very much. But I mean, I've got the pace, and uh, even though I've got a solid lead in the championship, I'm a racing driver. I want to win. Well, a sim racing driver. Not the point. I'm competitive. I want to win. Heading through cops for the penultimate time. And now we chase after Tictum. The gap is down to eight tenths of a second, even though it looks like a little bit more. But Tictum is really just putting that dams through its paces. But now, guys, even though my left front is screaming, my other three tires are all nice and dandy. So we still have a massive opportunity to win this race because we've got the grip advantage. DRX is open as we head towards Stowe for the penultimate time. And you guys can see the gap is just slowly but surely just eking away. And are we really going to do this to Tictum? Are we going to make him lose the lead and make him lose the lead of the race that he has led from lap one after he took the lead from Schwartzman? It's, it's, it's a little bit, it's, it's very, very, <laughs> it's very rude. But I mean, r r this, is, this is racing. Not every racing story is going to be a fairy tale. Most racing stories end in tra tragedy. And unfortunately, Mr. Tictum, it is not your time. It is my time to shine. Let's go, guys. We start the final lap of the British Grand Prix feature race. Well, the British feature race. Let's go into this next point. You got to see, I'm so close to Tictum, and he's just trying to get the best possible exit so he can actually have the best possible straight line speed for this next straight. But we open up the Oris. Tictum v Matsushita on the Hamilton straight. He, is, he defends the actually. He goes to the inside a little bit. We are forced onto the curb. If we, if we blinked a little bit earlier, we could have gone to the inside, but I think that we, he would just have pinched. Us. We are to the inside of left field. Tictum v, v Matsushita, and we get the move done on Dan Tictum with half a lap to go. But we can't we can't keep napping because they are still right behind us, and they will have DRS as we head down the, the hangar straight for the final time, heading into Stowe. Here we go to the inside of Cops. Schwartzman, you might be saving my race. Schwartzman goes up the inside of Tictum through Cops, and it's side by side for the Prima and the, and the Dams driver heading into Maggots and Beckett's beautiful racing here. Tictum leaves Schwartzman the, the space which I wouldn't have done if I was in Tictum's shoes but the Schwartzman has basically gifted me this feature race win Schwartzman is ahead of Tictum but they both actually have DRS on me well on, it, well on each other and on me but look at Aitken he's also very close these two need to be careful not to not to lose for one of them to lose a podium into Stowe for the final time Schwartzman has got the inside and it's absolute tragedy for Dan Tictum he loses not just the lead but P2 the Brit has gone down to P3 we will win Another victory for Japan in MP Motorsport and Robert Schwartzman will take P2 for Prima. What a race! Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. So after a day of mixed fortunes up and down the field, we bring today's race to a close. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? What a race, Alex. Every so often we get a spectacular like we did today. Less focus on strategy and time management and more on just pushing it to the limits and battling it out for those top positions. I think what we experienced today is evidence of why Formula 2 is continuing to draw into crowds and expect today's race will definitely be turning a few more heads to the series. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the MP Motorsport team and I'm very happy to see them up there on the top step of the podium. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Nobuharu Matsushita is my favorite one. Today was amazing. He made so many overtakes. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then.
Take care. Oh, yes, most definitely. Alex Jakes and David Avaseki, you will see me driving as Matsushita tomorrow again. Guys, what's an absolutely fantastic feature I see at Silverstone? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't expect this result. Look, I do realize that I am quite comfortable and good in the F2 cars, but I didn't expect myself to be this good, especially on F1 2020. So, um, obviously, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, dump the F2 season. Like I said at the beginning of the video, as soon as the season is done, because I realize it can eventually get a bit tedious and boring if you watch someone win the whole time. But, I mean... I, I might have a few bright ideas for when I win the championship, like, like when I know I've won. Where the hell did I get that shark bite out of my rear wing? Huh, that's interesting. Luckily, this is not F1 22 and 21. Otherwise, I would have been a squiggly man McGee. But guys, that has been this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying till the end. I'm sure you guys realize I don't put stuff on the screen anymore to like re remind you guys to like, uh, uh, follow me on, on social media and all those types of things. I feel if you guys like the videos enough, you will do that out of your own. But I'm just going to remind you verbally. <laughs> guys, if you're new to the channel, um, make sure to go check out the links in the description down below. Um, my Falcon Gaming Clan, as well as my social medias and all the other series on the channel uh also if you want to go check out other series on the channel make sure to go check out the playlists section of this channel i'm very ocd so everything in my playlists is in order so you're not going to have to search around then also if you haven't done it yet drop a like down below on this video it's only going to take you a nifty two seconds and i'm not going to lie i think after that stellar performance i've earned your like and also if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe down below and don't forget to ding that bell to never miss an awesome video here on Super fox races We've got F1 2020, we've got my team, we've got career mode, we've got F2, we've got Jim Connor, we've got freaking um, Wreckfest, we've got Need for Speed, we've even got podcasts about real life F1. I mean, what more do you want? So please, subscribe, ding that bell, and never ever miss a future video. Guys, it's been fantastic. Remember, sprint race posting tomorrow, so basically after this video is up, make sure to go check out my social media for teasers. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you, and let's get that sprint race tomorrow. Cheers!